Good morning, good morning to you all. As always, I hope that you're having a great day so far and um, you're just excited about today. Amen. About good morning. <laughs> good morning. Yes, yes. This is a beautiful day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for his grace and his mercy and everything that all that he has done and we will continue to bless the lord at all time and just thanking god for this another beautiful day that he has blessed you that he has given us amen amen so we we just we just thank god for it um you know god is good all the time and all the time and he is good amen so we thank god for his grace and his mercy just mm -hmm. Getting things situated here. Good morning, Miss Deborah. God bless you. Good morning. Amen. So we we thank God for it. Amen. This is a good morning that God has blessed us. Amen. And we just thank God for it. To God be the glory for all the beautiful and wonderful thing that He has done and is doing and is to come. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. So we, we just bless the Lord and we thank God for the Holy Spirit who has um, given us that privilege and right that we can come before God and continue to honor him and continue to give him praise and give him glory. And we just thank God for that. And um, this is the last Sunday in this month, the last oh. Sunday. Yes, this is, um, you know, as they would say, this is it. So this is. The last Sunday in September, you know, mm -hmm. before you know it, hey, October is right there. And we bless the Lord. And as the Lord was said, had he not said, but he spoke to me earlier this month. There was um, the ninth month of manifestation, manifestation. And we saw, not only saw, but we heard some of the people, members and friends and immediate family got blessed. Not only just got blessed, but uh, some things happen, some things manifest in their life. And we're, we're thankful and grateful for, you know, just hearing some of the testimony. And I'm quite sure um, there are going to be more because God just don't stop right there. Mm -hmm. God just do not stop right there. And so we just bless God for it. And we thank God for his grace and his mercy on today. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm just grateful, grateful for life, grateful for the very breath of life mm -hmm. that um, that the Lord has given us. So, um, yeah, and I just have to chime in there with Pastor says, you know, that this is a great day that God has created. God has created the day and this is the day that he has made. Mm -hmm. and we shall rejoice in it. Um, yeah, rejoice in it, whether you're not feeling so great or however you're feeling, um, just remember that, that this is all about Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I saw that. I turned it up. I turned the volume up because I was using the computer for something else last night and, um, I had to turn the volume down. Amen. Amen. So all, all is well then. We thank God that everybody can hear, and um, not only just hear, but we bless God for it. Good morning, Sister Yvonne, Valerie, cousin. God bless all of you on today, and we thank God for such a wonderful and beautiful time it is that he allow us to come before him, and as we go forth in the word of God on today, um, but not, you know, when, when, when I think about as I said earlier, you know, this is the last Sunday of September. We're about to go into the 10th month, which is 10 is the number of completion. Um, and we bless God for that. You know, and we just thank God for his grace and thank God for his mercy and everything that he has already done. We're just grateful and thankful and um, we just thank God for it. And 
for everything that he has already done. There's some things that God has already has your name on it. And we bless God for that as we continue to move forward um, in the word and go forth and um, see what the Lord is going to continue to speak to our spirit man as he continue to bless us to be a blessing um, to one another. Amen. Good morning, family, all the way from New York. God bless you. NYC is in the place. God bless you all. Um, before we go forward, um, Psalm 91, anything else you care? Um, before we go with Psalm 91 and we're going to move forward and we trust and believe and pray that all is well and we continue to pray for not only just the church family, but our immediate family as well as everyone else and um, that as we continue to navigate through this, um, and we're going to continue our study on grace. And as uh, we continue to trust God and, and move and go through it, and, you know, we, we're we going to get through this. We're going to get through this together. Amen. And um, there was something you said about, um, well, you said it a couple of times that, you know, this is the last Sunday in the month of September. Um, it seems like that happened quickly. The days are going by so quickly, especially, um, I don't know for you all, but it seems like since we're in the midst of this pandemic and you're staying home a little bit more often, um, yeah, the, the days are going by quicker. Work. I got to work. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You leave out here every day. But, but you're home. Everybody you're, don't have that though, privilege like some people. But even though, <laughs> even though you go out of here every day to go to work. Yes. But you don't, there's still, you're not doing as much as you would normally do. No. That you had been doing. You're not doing a lot of um, activities and outside, yeah, yeah, things outside of the home as much as you were before. Mm -hmm. But back to what I was talking about. Yes. <laughs> when you said that, um, you know, we're we're this is the last Sunday in the month of September. Yeah, it seemed like those days are going by a little bit quicker than what it had been. But now that we look at it. Don't, you know, this is not only the end of, of, of the September, but you're going into October. Mm -hmm. You're going into another beginning. Yes. So even though, you know, there's the end, but let's look forward to the beginning. Amen. Which is wonderful that, that God gives us that, that opportunity mm -hmm. to look forward to the future. And not only to the future of a, the next month or the next day. But look at how he gives us that um, that 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 ability to be able to look forward to our future in in him forever and mm -hmm. eternal life. So Amen. That's a good thing to look forward to as well, too. <coughs> Amen. It is. It is. And we but, you know, it just gives us hope. And I hope we're gonna continue to keep that hope anchor in mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Amen. So we just bless God for that, and we thank God. Good morning, sis. Good morning, Sister Yolanda Kalen, and God bless all of you all for joining us on today. And we give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory belongs to God. Amen. Well, and excuse me if I'm sniffling a little bit, but this uh, the change of the weather. Mm -hmm. You know, when it starts to get a little bit cooler, then my sinuses will do a little something here. So. Amen. But see, we're going to ask her to lead us in Psalm 91. And as um, after Psalm 91, we're going to continue to go forth and um, share the word of God, which is the, uh, the good news, which is the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we thank God for that. Um, we bless the Lord and knowing that all is well and as regardless of how things look on the outside, we're always better when we're in, as far as in the inside, as long as we have Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, um, Psalm 91, and I will read from the King James Version. And, if, of course, as always, if you would read along with us, um, because you need to hear this word as well, too. You need to speak this word over your life as well, too. Amen. Um, so, I'll read from the King James Version. 
And it reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall not trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Don't you all sound wonderful in <laughs> rehearsing and, and just repeating that together. Mm -hmm. um, we just bless the Lord, and this is, you know, our confession that we believe. Uh, Psalm 91, not only that we just read it, but we believe it knowing that it's already done. Amen. So we bless God for that, and we thank God for his grace and his mercy. Um it's all about his grace and it's all about his mercy. And we just thank God for it. Amen. To God be the glory. We bless the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, um, are you ready to move into the word? Amen. Yes. Yes. Let us. Okay. So. <laughs> we're going to move forward into the word of God um, on today. And as I said, we're going to continue our study on grace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, mm -hmm. So we bless God for that. For his grace and his mercy. Amen. So at this part, um, again, I will um, step aside as pastor gets ready to give us the word that God has laid upon his heart. And I will join you for after church. And, um, you know, after church, we usually start that around 1130, um, depending on the time that the service, this service ends. It's going to usually start about 30 minutes after. So and um, but let me get this. Let me say this also. Um, because we made a few changes. I changed the email address to the church. Um, well, I had to separate some stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, if God is laying it upon your heart to sow a seed or a donation, um, into this ministry, um, you can do it one of three ways, um, by using our PO box. Um, you can mail a check to PO box 544 and that is Goose Creek, South Carolina, 29445. That's P.O. Box 544 if you choose to mail a check or money order, however. And if you want to use PayPal, please use the email address KimChurchAssist at Yahoo.com. That that's K-E-M Church Assist. Let me spell it out fully. K-E-M-C-H-U-R-C-H-A-S-S-T at Yahoo.com. If you choose to use PayPal, um, if you want to use Givelify, um, you can search for Pastor Samuel Middleton or under the church's name, which is Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, if you want to use Givelify. And um, again, I'll make that announcement or I'll try to leave that in the notes. Um, I realized last week I said I was going to leave that in the notes and I didn't do that or in the comments. But um, I'll try to put that in the comments um, afterwards. But again, you have one of three ways that you can use, um, you know, different platforms to sow a seed into this ministry. And as always, we appreciate your gift so much. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we're using it for the upbuilding of the kingdom. Um, we don't have a building. 
we're not using a building just yet, but certainly it's for the upbuilding of his kingdom and um, how God lays upon our hearts. And whatever we use, however we use the funds, we're um, always transparent with how we use that money um, towards however God lays it upon our hearts. So again, uh, we thank you for your donations. And so now we'll go into the word of God. Okay. Amen. And I will join you again for after church. So you all be blessed and just prepare your hearts to hear what thus says the Lord. Okay. Amen. Blessing. Um, we thank God for his grace and his mercy on today for all and everything that he has done. Um, we thank God for his grace and his mercy on today. And we bless the Lord on all and everything that, that he has already done. Amen. So we thank God for that. All right. So we, we, we pray that all is well and pray that the blessing of the Lord, as it said, it make us rich and add us no sorrow. And we thank God for that. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for his grace. We thank God for his mercy. We thank God for his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Who died for all of us. Not some, but he died for all. Amen. All mean all mean that he died for all of us. So we bless and we thank God for that in Truly, it is a privilege to continue to praise the Lord. And as I said before, we'll continue to bless the Lord. And we thank God as First Lady, my wife said, um, Pastor Jackie, as far as your giving, uh, we thank God for that. And one day it will happen as far as um, the building, however. But for now, we're going to continue to do what God has called us to do, even reaching people through the um, ways of the internet, I mean, YouTube, uh, social media, Facebook, however, but this gospel, which is the good news of Jesus Christ, will and have to, and it's going to get out, amen, so we thank God for it, it's, it's just, we want it to be not only just like a domino effect, but you know, just like fire spreading, and that's what the gospel is, like Jeremiah said, it's like fire shut up in my bone, amen, so we thank God for his grace. Amen. God bless you. So turn with me. <clears throat> um, got a few things, a lot that I want to cover. I'm going to try to get through with this um, if I can, but if not, God willing, we're going to continue to do what God called us to do. Amen. Um, so we bless all, bless the Lord and knowing that all is well. Turn with me to Romans chapter 5 verse 20. I want to read it in two version. I want to read it in the King James version. And then um, I want to bless you and read it also in the the Passion Translation version of it also. But the King James version, when you find it, um, we'll read it and we'll continue to go forward in the Word of God and we bless the Lord and. God is good, y'all, all the time. I'm telling you, God is good all the time and all the time. He is good. I mean, I don't care how, um, what we're going through, how, what we're experiencing, and we just, we thank God for it. I mean, um, you know, the thing about it is that this is where we continue to come to the table, um, not only to be fed, but also eat and receive what God has for each and every one of us, amen, and knowing that we can share the word of God <clears throat> and knowing that God has given us this platform that we can share the word of God with other people. Amen. The book of Romans, Romans chapter five, um, verse 20. I just want to read that one verse for your hearing and we're going to go forth and, and do what thus said the Lord. I want to read it in the King James and then I want to read it in the Passion Translation, uh, which is the TPT. Amen. So we thank God for it. Glory be to God. And we bless the Lord. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Thank God for his word. Romans chapter 5, verse 20. 
In the King James Version, it reads, Moreover, I'm sorry, moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abound, grace did much more abound. That's the King James Version of it. I want to read it in the Passion Translation Version. Um, even if you have it, you can go with um, just that one verse. Romans chapter 5, verse 20. Romans chapter 5, verse 20. And the, the Passion Translation say, So then the law was introduced into God's plan to bring the reality of human sinfulness out of hiding. And yet, wherever sin increased, there was more than enough of God's grace to triumph all the more. Wow. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you, grace is always there to help us. Oh, my God. So we bless the Lord for that on today. Um, and we thank God for his grace and his word. Let me pray. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We pray that all that's viewing and those might even be viewing later. Father, we thank you, dear God, some way, somehow. We pray, dear God, that knowing that this message would bring healing, will bring deliverance, will bring salvation, will also bring um, clarification. And not only just that, dear God, Father, your word heal, your word deliver, your word set us free each and every time. It, your word reveals mm, who we are. It reveals us there, God. It, 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 it brings out some things in us that we didn't even realize that need to come out. And Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit there, God, as we go forth in the word of God on today. Holy Spirit, you lead and you teach. I pray there, God, that someone might receive salvation and receive Jesus as Lord over their life. It is, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the Lord and we give God praise and we give God glory and we thank God as we look at verse, the latter part of that verse, it said, grace did more abound, even though but there were sin abound, but grace did more abound. I, we're still talking about, this will be part three, um, we're still talking about as far as part three of this message, we are richly blessed with his grace. But the title, which subtitle would be on this, would be Grace Changes Everything. Wow. Grace changes everything. I didn't say something. Grace changes everything. Everything mean that no matter what things you are experiencing, that you're going through, grace changes everything it says right here even though it said moreover the law entered that the offense might abound but where sin abound grace did much more abound mean that grace changes everything mean that i don't care what situation what you are experiencing grace is there to help you in a time of need amen glory hallelujah so we bless God for that each and every day. So here it is as we go forth in this word of God on today and we bless and we thank God for his grace. We thank God for his mercy that somewhere, somehow this word will not only just enlighten, but it will illuminate, but it will also allow you to see the manifestation of God's glory or what not that he wants to do in your life, that something that God has already done, some account, whether it's old, <laughs> oh, glory, hallelujah, my God, whether it's new, God is going to settle all accounts, my God, not some. He's going to settle all account, glory, hallelujah. We thank God for it. So here it is. We bless the Lord and we thank God for his grace and his mercy. Grace you know, if we was in a, in, in, a, in a building or in a setting, we'll say, you know, repeat after me. Grace changes everything. My God, 
Is this something about grace? Is this something about God's grace? Is this something about God's grace? Grace, glory, hallelujah, changes everything in our life. I don't care how it look. I don't care how long you've been down. I don't care what you experienced. I don't care what you um, experienced, whether last month, last year, it doesn't matter. Grace pulls you up out of the Murray pit. I'm telling you, grace changes everything in our life. Glory, hallelujah. So here it is. When we, we think it's us, but it's the grace of God that helps us to navigate us through some things, to go do some things that only grace can sustain you and help you to go through some things. It says right here, the law is that there and put, the law was there and they put it in place to help man but grace is there to keep and sustain you. Oh my God, glory, hallelujah. That's what grace does because the Bible tells us is recorded in Ephesians 2 and 8. Ephesians 2 and 8, it says right here, for by grace are ye saved. For by grace are ye saved, but it's through faith and that not of yourself, it is a gift of God. It is a gift of God. God give us the greatest gift. As I said, we don't have to wait until December the 25th. We don't, oh glory, hallelujah. This gift did not even came wrapped up in paper or, or, or Christmas paper that we go and, 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 and buy out of the store that we go get from Walmart, Christmas paper that we go get from Target, or oh, glory, hallelujah, the Christmas paper that when we go buy stuff from the mall and we wrapped it up so it can look nice and pretty for other people. But this gift came, glory, hallelujah. It was the grace that God graces with his son, Jesus Christ, that none should be lost and none should perish. That's why he came. He came to, to, to seek and save the lost, my Lord. When you think about the word, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. When you think about the word, grace is the agent for change. Oh, glory. <laughs> oh, my God, hallelujah. Did you catch that? Glory, hallelujah. Did you catch that? Grace is the agent for change to help rearrange some things in your life. Mm. I'm going to say it again. Grace is the agent for change to help rearrange some things in our life to help put things in perspective and put things in order. To help put things in perspective and put things in order, I mean put things in his proper place. So when the promotion come, oh my God, mm, knowing that the prosperity, glory, hallelujah, everything you prayed about is already there for you. Hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. My God, I'm telling you, grace changes everything in our life. Glory, hallelujah. Great. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. God is allowing you to have the grace. Let me slow down just for a moment. Let me say this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Glory, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mm, my God. God is allowing you and I to have this grace to navigate. Mm, my God. To navigate, to go forward, even in the midst of the pandemic, in the midst of the thing COVID-19, in the midst of racism, in the midst of unemployment, in the midst of losing your job, in the midst of losing a lot, in the midst of frustration and the thing that we experience. But God has given you Jesus Christ, my God. Grace changes everything in our life. My God, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah, my God, <laughs> ah, my God. Oh, we serve an awesome God, church. I'm telling you, we serve an awesome 
awesome God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, my God. When you think about it, just for a second, just think about this for a second. Grace is my turnaround when I am falling and failing in areas in my life that I can't fix. I'm going to say it again. Grace. Grace. Not your mama, not your daddy, not your sister, not your brother, not even your job, not even your money. Glory. Hallelujah. It's, I'm telling you, it's grace that changes everything in our life. My God, even the losing of a love, the loss of a loved one going home to be with the Lord. But it's God grace that keep you and sustain you to keep you to keep on moving forward and navigating you through the process that you're experiencing in life. My God, hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. Grace is my turnaround when I am falling and failing in areas in my life that I can't fix only by God's grace. Grace is my turnaround. Grace allow you, hallelujah, e oh, yes, Lord, even when you're going in the wrong direction, grace is still there to hold you up. Even when you have not done what God has called you to do, but grace is still there to sustain you through some crazy chaos, some crazy, oh my God, some crazy situation. Grace is still there, even though you went in a different direction, even though you then did what God tell you to do, but grace was still there to help you along the way. Grace, oh my God, yes, Lord. In this turnaround, in this season of turnaround, 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 yes, Lord. In this season of turnaround, hallelujah, God has graced you. Mm, my God, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Grace is my turnaround when I am falling because only God's grace will pick you up. The Bible says a just man falls seven times and he gets back up. But a lot of time when someone falls, here it is, you don't you don't try to keep your foot on them. You don't try to keep your foot on them. You don't try to continue to keep them down. Hallelujah, my God, you help pick them up. And that's why the Bible says in John 12 and 32, Jesus said, and if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Jesus, the more we lift up Jesus, the more we praise him, the more we give him glory, the more we continue to thank him, the more we continue to just praise him. Hallelujah. God does the drawing. It's the anointing that destroys the yoke, the burden removing. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. I thank God that grace changes everything in my life. Grace changed everything in your life. Grace changed everything in your kid's life. Glory. Hallelujah. It's because God graced you to go over and beyond. We always say, keep it 100. Go beyond. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. 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 My God. Thank you. Listen at this just for a second. Hallelujah. Grace give me a pickup and not a knockdown. Mm, my God. Grace give me a pickup and not a knockdown. My God, hallelujah. So here it is. Some of us, we need two or three cups of coffee in the morning, and I'm guilty of it too. <laughs> oh my God. Sometimes to get our morning started, sometimes we need not only one cup, we need two cups, we need three cups perking. Oh my God, we need that Folgers in the morning to help us get going. But how many of you know we really don't need that? And I'm guilty of it too, two or three cups of coffee. But uh, how many How many of you know we don't need that? We can get started by grace, knowing that grace is right there to help you get started each and every day in the morning. Hallelujah. It's the Holy Spirit. Mm, my God, it's the Holy Spirit. But grace is right there. Oh, when you feel that you can't do it, when you feel that you can't move, when you feel that you can't go, grace said, don't worry, I got you. Mm, my God. Hallelujah. So here it is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me just land right here just for a moment. 
Turn, uh, I want to read, turn with me to 1 Peter chapter 5. I want to read 1 Peter chapter 5. 1 Peter, hallelujah, God is good, amen? All the time. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 5, 6, and 7, amen? God is good all the time, church. I'm telling you, we just got to continue to praise him in spite of the things that we experience, in spite of what we're going through, hallelujah, it's not about the big church, the small church, it's about God's church, amen, it's about, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, Isaiah 1 and 17, why are you going to 1 Peter 5, 5, 6, and 7, I had the Lord saying, Isaiah 1 and 17, it says, learn to do well, I mean, learn to do what God has called you to do. Do it well, but also do it well in the word of God. Amen. And also 1 and 19, he said, Isaiah 1 and 19 said, if ye be willing and obedient, you can't be one without the other. The two go together. You got to be willing and obedient. You eat the good of the land. Amen. That's what the, that's what the word of God said. 1 and 17 and Isaiah 1 and 19. Amen. So here it is. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. How many of you thankful on today? Amen. Hallelujah. I, I, I'm thankful. I just raised my hand all by myself. I, I, I give him praise. I give him glory. And I, I, I'm just thankful. I, I'm grateful and I, I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for my wife, my kids. I'm thankful for my grandkids. I'm thankful for my sisters, my brothers, my church family. I'm thankful for my neighbors. I'm thankful for my friends. Look, I'm even thank, thanking him for my enemies. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. He said, pray for your enemy and those that despitefully use you. Amen. Hallelujah. So we bless God for that. First Peter chapter five, verses five, six, and seven. Amen. Are we there? Amen. Hallelujah. Let me get there. I think I'm, I'm right here. I'm right here. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. First Peter chapter 5. We thank God for Jesus. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. We thank God for his son. That's he 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 died for us. Amen. First Peter chapter 5 verses 5. He said, "Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself unto the elder." Yeah, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud and give grace to the humble. He resists the proud and give grace to the humble. And then verse six said, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. I mean, God does the exalting. The Bible said one water, one plant, but God give the increase. Glory, hallelujah. One water, one planet, but God give the increase in the lives of his people. Amen. Verse seven, then it tells us, he said, when you do that, when you do what five and six said, he said, just sit back and then go ahead and cast all your cares upon him. Your anxiety, your worries, Glory, hallelujah. Don't worry about it. God got this. Hallelujah. He said, cast, cast mean when you cast in something, like when, when they were out in the boat fishing in Luke chapter fix, uh Luke chapter five, when they talk about the great catch, here it is. He 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 throw it when Jesus told him to throw your nets. Peter just throw his net. So casting mean when you cast in something out, knowing that you're gonna get something to come back in. Glory, hallelujah. So in other words, when you place it all there, when you put it there, when you leave it there, let it stay there, he said, casting all your cares upon him. Why? Because he cares for you. He cares for you. He cares for me. He, 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 he cares for all of us. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What an awesome, awesome, mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. You ought to give him praise on that. Ah, we, you know, we, we just got to thank him each and every day. Because here it is. Let me say this. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. 
He pulls out his grace, which is Jesus Christ, his grace. He pulls out, listen, listen at this. Let me say this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me say this. Glory, hallelujah. He pulls out his grace on humanity to stay humble in humility. I'm going to say it again. He pulls out his grace on humanity to stay humble in humility. It's all about humankind, meaning that we are to stay humble. Amen? Because it, he said he give grace to the humble. And he does what? He resists the proud. Amen? He resists the proud. So it's not about what God, thank you, Holy Spirit. God don't call the equip. He equipped the calling that's on your life. For those who think they got it together, those who think it's all about them, and you know, knowing that you 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 cross all your T's and you can dot all your I's, that's I mean, he called Moses, he graced Moses, glory, hallelujah. Grace changes everything. That it changed everything in Moses' life. Only thing. He graced Moses to, to be a great, powerful leader in the Old Testament. Amen. Joshua, there's so many of them. Gideon, I can go on and on. Glory, hallelujah. In the same way he graced them, grace changes everything in their life. What make you think grace won't change things in our life? Oh, my God. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Most of all, we thank you for your son, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. And, and there's another scripture I want to um, point out to you. Turn with me in the book of John, the gospel according to John. Amen. The gospel according to John. I just want to give you some support on what we're talking about, knowing that grace changes everything Amen. Everything. I don't care how the situation looks. I don't care, you know, because when it all said and done, it's all about God's grace. Amen. John chapter one, look at verses 16 and 17. Amen. The gospel according to John. Amen. Verses 16 and 17. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. We bless the Lord. Amen. Verses 16, it says, And of his fullness have all we received the grace for grace. My God. The grace for grace. And then verse 17 says, it said, For the law was given. The law was given by who? Moses, the same man who I just talked about not even 10 seconds ago. It was given. He gave Moses the Ten Commandments, the laws. Amen. That's what he gave Moses. Amen. So here it is. The law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. My Lord, grace and truth. The law was given, like God give it, give the Ten Commandment to Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ, which Jesus Christ is grace and truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. Mm. We bless the Lord for that. Amen. So here it is. When you think about it, as we look back, turn back with me to Romans now. Let's let's go back to Romans. Well, we started in Romans chapter 5, verse 20. Amen. Romans chapter 5, verse 20. Well, we look at this verse again. How, you know, when you think about it, it said, Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. So here it is. When you think about it, it might, might abound, but where sin abound, grace did much more abound, meaning that grace changes everything. Um, uh, when you think about not only just that scripture, but when you think about the word of God, because a lot of time when we think about uh, grace, 
as I said it before, the acronym for that is God Riches at Christ's Expense. Mean that it was, and that's why God was sharing with me that we are richly blessed. We are richly blessed with his grace. Mean that here it is. He gave us his only begotten son. He gave us not only his only begotten son, but he gave us everything that he had. Oh my God, yes, Lord. Don't you know, thank you, Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Don't you know, it's not about all what you and I have. It's not about your money in the bank. It's not about your paycheck. It's not about what you work for every week. It's not about what you have. It's not about what you saving up. It's not about your full one. It's not about your retirement. I don't care how much you got in the bank. It's still bankrupt. Hallelujah. What do you mean? Oh, my God. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Because here it is. It bankrupt heaven. God emptied out his account. He said, I'm going to give you all that I have. I'm going to give you Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm telling you, it bankrupt heaven. Hallelujah. So that's why you and I, oh my God, I felt that we are so richly blessed with this grace, which is Jesus Christ. Grace changes everything. Oh my God. Mm. Enable me to do some things that I can't do, knowing that only grace can do it. Amen. Because God has graced you and I, as I said before, he's graced all of us to do something for the kingdom of God to make a great impact on our city, our town, our community, our workplace. It doesn't matter. He's graced us to do something different. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Thank God for his grace. How many of you thankful for God's grace? How many of you thankful for his mercy? How many of you thankful for all that and what he has already done? Are we thankful for that? Amen. So we bless the Lord and we thank God that all is well in closing. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God. Ah, oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. Mm. There's one other verse that I want to I want to cover as we back in Romans chapter five. We're talking about grace changes everything, and grace is an agent of change. I'm telling you, it's all about a turnaround season. I don't care how things look. It's all about things are going to turn around. Oh, my God. I don't care how you say, oh, turn it up, turn it down, however. But when we turn to God and put it in his hand, casting all our cares on him because he cares for you and I, I'm telling you, we can just rest right there. We can just relax right there. We can just stay put and put it and give it all to God. Amen. Because grace changes everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 11. Look at Romans chapter 11. I want to read verses 5, 6, and 7. Amen. And we're going to try to just park right there as the Holy Spirit will allow us. Amen. Romans it's for the sake of time, but nevertheless, God is good. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans. Ah, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm, Romans chapter 11. God is good all the time. In spite of, you know, we can't go and do the things that we used to do as far as entertainment, as far as movie and um, going to different um, places and things like that, the gathering and all that and uh, but still yet, God is still good. Amen. God is still good. Not only he woke you up this morning, not only you, you're in your right mind, but you're still breathing, you're still moving. In spite of those that are sick, we continue to keep praying for those. We continue to keep lifting them up in the name of Jesus. We continue to just keep praying for those. Oh, my God. Keep praying. Ah, oh, my God. Prayer is not was prayer is the master key to unlock healing deliverance and blessing prayer is the master key to unlock healing deliverance and blessing prayer is the master key 
to unlock healing, deliverance, and blessing. Ah, oh, my God, I felt that. My God, mm, my God, mm, my God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my God. All right, let us go over to Romans chapter 11, verses 6, 7, and 8. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good all the time, and all the time, he is good. Glory to God. Ah, oh, my God. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for it. Amen. He graced you to not only get up this morning, but he graced you to be on this live. He graced you even beyond. It's not about how we feel, but it's about trusting and believing God. Amen. Grace changes everything. Amen. However, whatever situation, whether whatever you got going on in your life, outside your life, grace changes everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans chapter five. I'm sorry. Chapter 11. Verses 5, 6, and 7. We bless the Lord for that. <clears throat> Romans chapter 11, verses 5, 6, and 7. And it reads, Romans chapter 5. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. Mm. How do you bless the Lord? You bless the Lord by thanking him each and every day. You bless the Lord by just opening up your mouth. You bless the Lord by, by just moving and, and helping and, and being a blessing to other people. I mean, we just got to continue to be thankful and grateful for the thing that he's already done. Amen. Already done. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 11, beginning with verse number five, it says, even so then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. A remnant. How many of you know God always keep a ram in the bush? Amen. He kept the ram in the bush when he told Abraham to go sacrifice his son. Amen. God always keeps a ram in the bush. Remnant. Amen. Even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. We're not talking about November 30th election, okay? <laughs> God, I'm telling you, I don't care how things look, but God is still large and in charge. God is still alive. God sees, he said, Second Chronicle, you don't have to go there, Second. Chronicles 16 and 9, it said, the eyes of the Lord is running to and forth throughout the whole earth to see whose heart and mind stays on Jesus. You can look it up later. Second Chronicles 16 and 9. And let me get back to this. Verse 5, it said, even so then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Verse 6 said, and if by grace, then it is no more works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. Verse 7 said, what then? It asks the question, what then? Israel, God chosen people, have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. My God. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless God for his word. So here it is. God pulled him out the same way he pulled the Israelite out, the same way he pulled them out. They, they, were, they were going through some things worse even in Pharaoh's day, but still yet as we look at this pandemic, we look at what we're going through. We're going to continue to keep navigating through this by God's grace. Amen. How many of you know that? Say, by God's grace, we're going to get out of it. We're going to not only get out of it, but we're going to go through it. Amen. We're not trying to exempt it, but we're going to continue to trust God is because of his grace 
and his mercy. Amen. Is because of his grace and his mercy. Last but not least, last but not least, and let me leave this with you. The Bible tells us in Romans, and this was one of the, um, in the book of Romans 3 and 23, this was the scripture um, for some of us who have the Bible app. Even on yesterday, um, this is the scripture that came up, Romans 3 and 23, and it blessed my heart. Um, it says, for all have sinned. It didn't say some, all mean all. It said, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Being in verse 24, that's verse 23, but verse 24 also said, and being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. God redeem us back to himself. Hallelujah. So we are all in this together, but grace pulls us out of everything. With grace, we win every time. With God's grace, we win every time. I'm thankful I'm grateful and I'm thankful for his grace. Amen. That's why, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's why we should always bless our food before we eat. Amen. We should say the grace before we eat. Amen. We Because the thing about it, we're giving God thanks for what he has already done. Amen. Regardless of who had it or who brought it to you, but still yet, we thank God we're going to say our grace before we eat. Amen. Hallelujah. And not only physical, but also spiritual. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. I'm going to just wrap it up and not only wrap it up, but how many of you know out of time, but we're never out of message. Amen. We're out of time, but we're never out of message. But watch this. We got to stay in time with God. Amen. Because how many of you know my time is not God's time. Amen. Hallelujah. God will always supersede things in your life. And that's what grace does. Grace changes everything. An agent of change. Amen. And that's what Jesus said. He came to seek and save those that are lost. If you think you got it all together, you might say, well, I don't need God. Where's God? Hallelujah. My God, God is right there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Psalm 24 and 1, it said, The earth is the Lord and the world, and they that dwell in it. Amen? So how can you dwell and live in a world and knowing that, hallelujah, there ain't no God? There is God. God, God, he lived within us. Amen? Each and every day. That's why we praise him. That's why we give him glory. And we thank God for his grace and his mercy. Hallelujah. As I said, we bless the Lord. We pray that his message has been a blessing to each and every one of you. And I pray not only just a blessing, but it, it as it being not only shared, but um, even as others, this message could be a blessing to someone else later down the road, even if it's not for today, it could be for next week. It could be for tomorrow. It doesn't matter. But glory, hallelujah, knowing that the message of Jesus Christ, mm, hallelujah, the message of Jesus Christ brings some mess out of our life. Amen. The message of Jesus Christ brings some mess out of our life. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what the message did for Mary Magdalene. If it did it for Mary, it'll do it for you and I. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. So we bless the Lord and we pray that all is well. And we thank God for grace changes everything. It changed everything in my life. It, and it should do the same for all of us. And we bless and truly knowing that God is still in the blessing business. Amen. God is still in the healing business. God is still in the living business. Hallelujah. So we thank God for his grace and his mercy. Amen. And amen. We bless the Lord. But we would never like to close without giving you that 
personal invitation to know Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, if you don't have that relationship, you might say, I've heard of him, but not just hearing of him. God wants you to have a personal relationship with Jesus. Amen. You can go to him anytime. He's never busy. He's never, it's not like you bothering him, but you can go to him anytime. He's always there with open arms, ready to receive us. Amen. Ready to bring us back. Amen. Ready to redeem us back. That's what grace does. Amen. It, it changes everything. Hallelujah. So I just want to pray this prayer. And if you believe, as it says in Roman, <clears throat> excuse me, chapter 10, verse 9, if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead. On the third day, he was raised. He was resurrected. Amen. Not only for one, but for all. Amen. That you shall be saved. Hallelujah. So it could be one or it could be many out there that don't know Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We might be walking around thinking that not only we, we know him, but we heard of him. But God wants you to have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And it can start now. Only thing you have to do is just raise your hand and say, Lord, I'm raising my hand in reverence to surrendering it all to you. Lord, I'm raising my hand. Not only I'm raising my hand, but Lord, I'm raising, I want you to come into my heart. As it says in Revelation 3 and 20, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, I will come in and sup with them. He will come in and sit with you. Only thing you got to do, surrender it all to God. We've been trying to do it our way. And we've been running into not only roadblock, but our way is always causing these calamity and accident. But when we do it God's way, everything will be all right. So if that's you, I pray and believe that on this day that you will receive Jesus and receive salvation. This let this axiom said, Jesus, come into my heart. Because the Bible tells us in Romans 3 and 23, all have sinned. Not all, all mean all. All of us have sinned and come short of the glory. That's why we need God's grace to, to, to bring us back, to push us back, to glide us back, to get us back. However, grace will get you back to the Father. Amen? So if that's you, let's repeat that. So, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need to be saved. Lord, I want to receive your son. I want to receive Jesus Christ into my heart today. Lord, there's some things that I'm not pleased with myself. But Father, I'm asking you, I surrender my hands, my heart, and my mind, my emotion to you. Just surrender all to him and ask him to come in. And if you pray that prayer, I believe that Jesus has already come into your heart on today. And you've already received them. And we bless the Lord. And we thank God for his grace and his mercy. If that's you, you can just, as we continue to pray for you and with you, not only inboxes, but messengers and, and say, Pastor, that was me. I was going through some things, experiencing some tough time, but hallelujah. But I, I, I pray that pray and, and something just overshadowed this came over me. That's the power of the Holy Spirit, young lady. That's the power of the Holy Spirit, young man. That's God's grace overshadowing you, overpowering you, coming inside. Amen. So we thank God for his grace and his mercy. Grace changes everything. So we bless the Lord that you receive that. Amen. And as we continue to be a blessing to each and every one of you, we thank God for his grace and we thank God for his mercy on today. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. All is well. Amen. All is well and all is well. So we're going to come back about 1125 to 1130 uh, with After Church. Um, First Lady and I, we um, do what we do, sharing the word of God and 
um, after church. And as she would say, what do we do after church? Even if we were in the building, a lot of time we ready to go out, whether eat or a different place, however, that physical food. But how many of you know is all about that spiritual food? And we bless God for it. Amen. So we pray that some of you um, who are on now will be able to join us. If not, um, you can always go back and view it. And even as this message has been shared or being shared, even on not only Facebook, but also um, YouTube, we bless the Lord for all the technology that he allowed us to do and have. Amen. So we thank God. I pray God grace. I pray God blessing. I pray God peace upon each and every one of you, even as you go in and out your house throughout the week, even as you're driving, even as you're on your job. It doesn't matter where you're at. God got you. Amen. So we love you. God bless your kingdom and power ministry and blessing to all. And we thank God for his grace and his mercy. Amen. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. And knowing this, that God loves you, we love you too. Amen.